Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from OB Pixel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about a process that I have followed for the last 30 years and I've refined over time on how you can become more efficient in everything that you do, all the tasks that you do during the day, and how you can actually achieve many results considering that you may be overwhelmed today. You might be working on multiple tasks and you may not be finishing any of them. Now, I've created a presentation for you of my process. You're more than welcome to follow it. If you don't like this video, you don't like the process, please, you can move on to the next videos, no problem. Those of you who are struggling a little bit, you want some guidance. I've taken a long time putting this together. And as, as in like, I've refined this process over many years, the last 30 years. I started doing this at the age of 20, 21. I'm now 50, so it's a long time. And I've put a presentation for you together. You're more than welcome to download it. I don't need email addresses, phone numbers, uh, personal file, first names and surnames. I don't need any of that. You can just download the link. It's not a problem. There's no hidden catch. So I have it available to you. Now, if you're interested in how you can boost your productivity and be more efficient, Stay tuned. Welcome back. Right, so let's step into the presentation. I'm going to take you into the presentation now. All right, so you want to boost your productivity with, instead of multitasking, many people fall into this trap of doing multitasking. You know, multitasking has already failed in the industry. Many people try to do this. They work on too many things. Nothing ever gets finished or done. And at the end of the day, you think you're doing a lot, but you're actually very scatterbrained. What you've got to start thinking of is monotasking, one task at a time. So discover the power of monotasking to maximize your focus and achieve your goals, essentially. So what are you going to do? You're going to prioritize your tasks. You're going to eliminate distractions. Usually that's a little trickier to do, but you can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to leverage your time using the Pomodoro technique. Okay, and then you can unlock new levels of productivity for your personal and your professional growth, okay? So are, is this you? Are you having these difficult questions in your life? Are you multitasking and you can't seem to finish anything you're working on? Possibly. Do you have endless tasks piling up? Probably. Is your office or desk cluttered and you can't think clearly? More than likely. We all suffer from this. Every so often you have to clean up. So how do we get around this? What we're going to do is we're going to maximize your day, however many hours you have, in these three steps every time you face a task. When I started doing this at the age of 2021, 20, I had 50 tasks I was working on. It wasn't a refined process over many years, 30 years roughly. I've refined this down to literally three steps. Okay. The first step is you're going to plan and prioritize. Then what you're going to do is you're going to focus and work. And then ultimately at the end, you're going to review and adjust. So let's break this down. In your first step, the planning and prioritizing. There are a number of things you have to do in here. First of all, you're going to list your tasks. Now, a lot of people fall into this trap where they write down what they're going to do for the day on the day they're doing it. Some people don't even write down their tasks. They just start working on something. <laughs> that's actually incorrect because what's going to happen is there's going to be a few things that's going to go wrong. First of all, you're going to get distracted. Second of all, you won't be able to concentrate. You won't know what, where to begin, what to do, how long to work on something. Third, you may miss something. Fourth, well, ultimately, you're going to be worried about that particular task because you know, you go, oh, I've got to finish it within a time span, blah, blah, blah. And you, you're going to get stressed out and you're going to get distracted and do other things. What you really need to is have a structure. So what you do is you put a list together. The night before you go to bed, you're going to jot down, write down pencil, paper, digital, whatever you do, all the tasks that you need to accomplish, whether it's for that day or the following day, that's fine. And whether it's professional or personal for the next day, but then do it 
on that day. So that evening. So that the next morning when you get up, you don't have to sit and think about, oh, what am I going to do today? What am I going to finish off today? It's already in the list. So that stress and worry is gone. Right? You've got your strategy. The second thing is you're going to prioritize. Take and rank those tasks on importance and urgency level, identifying, you know, the top priorities and that you need to deal with for that day. And then give them some kind of scoring or ranking priority. I tend to use the, the, the scoring system of uh, one for low, two for medium, three for high. And usually I work on the higher ones first. So I can get those out of the way and then I'll work backwards. You know, essentially it's what we call the triage method. It's like in, on a battlefield, right? The, the nurses and the doctors are not going to deal with someone who's got a basic gash on their arm or their leg or something like that. They're going to deal with someone who's got their limb cut off, you know, and they're busy bleeding to death. You're going to deal with emergency things first and then work backwards. That's called triaging, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to allocate time. You're not going to just willy-nilly start writing and doing stuff and, and working on things. Dedicate time to a particular task. So what we need to do is we need to think of a technique called the Pomodoro technique, which is essentially 25 minute time slots that you need to allocate for each task, right? That you need to require. And we'll discuss the Pomodoro uh, further on. Then the second stage will be, okay, you need to focus and work. So first thing inside here, setup is important. So you need to create a destruction or a, a destruction. It, it usually is destruction, a distraction free environment. You know, turn off notifications on your phones and your devices, gather all the necessary materials you have to, you have to work with, um, declutter your office. You know, when you when it comes to, you know, gathering all the all the necessary materials together, it's like being in a kitchen trying to cook or bake. You're going to take out all your ingredients out and have them all ready before you start cooking or, ba or baking, because otherwise, you're not going to follow the recipe and you might even do something wrong as well. And then very key factor here is to declutter your office environment and your desk because, you know, you're getting ready to work in a clutter free zone. And that's very important because the mind is designed. And I did my thesis in university on the brain, right? So the mind is designed and it's very habitual, but it's designed to, to with your eyes to be distracted. You know, with your eyes, you'll be looking at things around your desk. You'll be thinking about something while you're working. You'll get distracted. Your focus won't be narrowed down. won't be visioned down. If you have things audible, like some people can work with music, others can't. Over time, I've learned to work with music in the background, but it, it depends on the kind of music. I'm, I listen to all music. I have no preference with any kind of music. I don't particularly like rap, but I pretty much enjoy everything else. However, when it comes to doing and working on tasks, I like my classical music, okay? It just works, especially Bach and Beethoven. They, they're phenomenally good at learning things. As in when you're running the music and playing the music, you can actually learn a lot easier. Anyway, that's a distraction here. So you're going to declutter your office and declutter your desk because the cleaner environment it is, the more decluttered it is, the less you can concentrate around that area and the more you can zone into what you're doing. Plain and simple, right? There's nothing complicated about that. Then you're going to work and allocate time and use a timer, the Pomodoro system, to allocate 25 minute sessions for your tasks. So I, I use something like this. So I've got a little device and you can get these on any, any online retail store. I've got a little device and it's uh, set to, let's bring that to 25 minutes. Oops, I just went a bit further. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to set, you can actually set the seconds. And when you're ready to set the 25 minutes, what you do is you press the button and it, go, and it goes, that's not saying 25 right now, but you get the point, right? And when it hits the 25, it's going to stop. And then you can hit the next session and you can actually con configure this. It's only going to do 25 minutes at a time. And it's very important. This 25 minutes has been proven to work right? Because it intensifies the workout, the, the, the task that you're working on. And then when you intensely focus, you're working solely on one task at a time within that duration of the Pomodoro system. So in other words, within that 25 minute duration, you're going to work on one task at a time. Don't get distracted and try and work on a secondary one. Work on that task with Pomodoro, okay? 25 minute session at a time. You may need more than one session. You may need two Pomodoros or three. You know, it depends on how long the task gets to, it gets to be completed. That's fine. But break down the tasks into 25 minutes. And there's an important reason for that. 
You see, Pomodoro, because you're time focusing, you're going to work on 25 minute intervals or Pomodoros. You're maintaining concentration for that time. Your brain has the ability to do 25 minutes out flat, completely zoned in to whatever you're working on. And then what you do is you schedule some breaks. So every time you have a Pomodoro session, 25 minutes, take a break, do five minutes, five minutes break, walk around, get up. So you're going to get up. You're not going to sit all the time. You're going to get up, walk around, go outside, have some sun, drink some water, go to the toilet, whatever you need, come back. So, or, or look at your messages or whatever you need to do, answer a call or whatever, but don't waste that five minutes use it then you can come back sometimes when you're working on more than one pomodoro in other words you've got two or three sessions running you know that's like you know 75 minutes or something take a longer break take 10 minutes 15 minutes of course when it hits lunch have your lunch do your one hour whatever and then when you have your dinner take your time right so the point is schedule breaks in between your pomodoro sessions don't forget to do that because believe me if you work continuously you're going to burn out and you're not going to be as productive Breaks are very important, surprisingly, okay? And then what will happen is you're going to have increased productivity. So this structured approach helps you accomplish more in less time. I know it may sound to you right now, if you're not working with any strategy, it may sound counterintuitive. You may think, oh, okay, is this really going to work? How am I going to get to do more things? You won't believe it, but you will. And then... In terms of your mind and the way you need to think about things, when you think about the mindfulness of your, of the way you're working on tasks, the Pomodoro technique, what it does, right? It encourages you to be present, to be focused in that moment. That gives you the ability to allocate quality time to completing tasks. And you can get things done a lot faster, a lot more efficiently, a lot more effectively and higher quality work. Always strive for quality not quantity always okay success will follow you with its pants down when you chase quality always so there's a saying i can't remember who says the saying i should look it up you know always chase excellence in your life because success will follow you with its trousers down it's just the way it works it's a funny uh, uh, thing to say but i've heard this somewhere and i can't remember where i've heard it now Stage uh, step three, right? Step three will be to review and adjust. Now you review your progress. So after each Pomodoro, mark what was accomplished. You know, take five minutes break, do whatever you need to do, come back, mark down. Okay, I finished this. I finished this. Oh, this task needs an extra Pomodoro allocated because maybe you didn't put it in your task list the night before. It doesn't matter. But after four Pomodoros, take obviously a longer break. Then you will part of this review process you will then adjust your tasks because you know you need to reevaluate re the task list allocate less time more time based on the completed work and any new priorities that might have come along the way these things happen that's life it's called project management okay and then at the end of the day reflect at the end of the day spend a few minutes reflecting on what actually worked well for you what could be improved how well you did completing the tasks, how well you did with those Pomodoro sessions, seeing if there's, well, sometimes a task has to move over to another day. These things happen. That's the part of the reflection. And that's when you readjust and you rewrite, your, you rewrite what you're going to do for the following day. Very important three steps. Okay. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're writing a research paper. You're in a university, you're writing a research paper, or you're doing it for some organization. Right, stage one, you're planning, or step one, sorry, you're planning. So estimate the sections of the paper, right, that you're going to work uh, work on and, and allocate the Pomodoros for each one of the sections. So let's say your introduction is going to take two Pomodoros, I'm just saying. And then the literature review will take four Pomodoros. I'm just saying, these are the very simplistic views of this. And then what you have is the step two will be the execution. So work on each section during the Pomodoros, ensure your focused effort, you're in a clutter-free zone, you have no distractions, everything's working on execution level, and you're taking your necessary breaks in between every single Pomodoro session that you're working with and that one task you're working with in that Pomodoro session and so on and then look at the outcome by the end of the day substantial progress will be on that paper that you're working on that research paper with each section receiving undivided surgeon precision high quality effort you know it's it's like 
I always maintain this. This is like a surgeon in an operating room and on an operating table operating on you. You wouldn't want you wouldn't want your surgeon, right, to be opening you up, operating on you, and then getting distracted by someone who says something, something that's happened outside. Oh, he's got to duck out and go and go and work on another patient while you're busy open and you're busy dying here, right? You, you don't want that. You want the surgeon to go in, cut, do what they need to do, fix everything, close you up, bring you back out from resuscitation, and you're done, right? And you want that kind of precision level, concentrated, zoned in time. Exactly. That's what you want from a surgeon. God forbid you have to go to the hospital and do that. I hope you never have to. But you have to treat your tasks the same way. You allocate your Pomodoro sessions. And believe me, a lot of doctors in the industry, which I've spoken to, actually use this technique. Surprisingly. And then you wonder why they're so efficient and able to perform so many surgeries during the day and they don't stress out. It's because of this technique. Okay. Now, the benefits of monotasking. Mono is a Greek word for mono, enna, one task at a time. Okay. It enhances, first of all, your focus. That's one of the key problems in the world. We are so distracted today with social media and everything else around us that we get easily defocused. We need to enhance our focus so we can avoid all that. So when you're enhancing your focus, effectively what you're doing is you're avoiding burnout and you're improving concentration by dedicating your attention to one task at a time, like a surgeon in an operating table, like I mentioned. And then what you're doing is you're increasing your efficiency. You're boosting your efficiency and you're improving your work quality and focusing solely on one task at a time, eliminating distractions within your clutter-free zone and your distraction-free zone for essentially deeper engagement in whatever you're doing, which ultimately will bring you out superior results at a much faster rate. And then and a great byproduct of this is that you're going to have skill development. You're going to have a, an ability to gain deeper understanding of the work patterns and improve the way you manage your time, learning new skills, working on new things, and you'll identify your limitations. And the great thing about the Pomodoro system is while you're working in this, you will actually harness and learn how to improve your limits, turn them in, turning them into advantages. This was very important for me when I came out of 2020, because, you know, the world went upside down in 2020, a terrible government reaction. And yes, and, they, you know, I lost family members as well. So I understand it was a pretty big deal, but it wasn't a good reaction across the world. More importantly, we've come out of that. But it really focused my mind into, OK, I need to use this method again, but I need to get on board of artificial intelligence and machine learning. I understood the topic. I'm an information security professional. I've known this topic for many years, for the last 30 years. Okay. And, but I never built a course around this. And I needed to get to grips with the content better than any other student of mine that would need to be in the course because I would need to be able to answer any particular question that comes along. But at the same time, I was really interested in the field. So I used the Pomodoro system and I really built up a six month process of really learning everything right down to the algorithms, the learning mechanisms, the models, the blockchains, everything right down. And I was able to develop and put a course together within six months. Here's the advantage though. Once I figured out that I, and I figured out my patterns within this building of the courses and that, I realized, okay, let's build a second one. And my second one didn't come out in six months. It came out in three months. So I halved my time because I managed to uh, really harness and zone into my Pomodoros and figure out exactly what was important. My subsequent two courses after that took two months each and the, the last one has taken a month. So I'm improving over time by using this three step process over and over by harnessing and learning to improve my limitations and then boosting them and turn them into advantages. And I've built courses that are 100% unique in the industry. Two, they are industry leading. Three, they're 100% theory and practical. So you walk away putting in practice everything you're learning. Just by the fact that I broke everything down, all I was learning using monotasking and Pomodoro system with 25 minute intervals and completely zoning in and doing all those while I was 
doing information consulting for companies while I was doing penetration testing for the companies and organizations while I was doing digital for or working on forensic cases, digital forensics, while I was sometimes during the month teaching courses of five day courses at a time for other companies or my own courses, while I was trying to make YouTube videos, while I was also trying to write well, I say write, rewrite, reshape the kids' books that I did, which are in total six of those, which, which have illustrations. They're sitting behind me on the shelf. And also completing a three series novel, three book novel for young teenagers. At the same time, right? While I'm trying to uh, <laughs> get into the, get myself healthier and so on. All of that, how? Would I not be overwhelmed by that? I'm sure a lot of you are doing lots of things, but you know you can get overwhelmed by everything you're doing, and then you get to the end of the day and you don't realize, oh, you know what have I done? How do I measure all the things that I've done? And you get so defocused and you get so tired. Well, using this technique, you actually don't get tired because you don't concentrate on the tasks. You concentrate on your monotasking within that Pomodoro system, within the 25 minute slots. You break everything right down. It's called rationalizing. Like all programmers do this. Programmers will break down code for a full-blown application right down to the smallest unit and program little bits at a time until eventually the program and the application or the game is complete. It's the way it works, right? Simple technology, simple techniques. So we're going to go into tracking your progress. So you're going to daily review everything. You're going to reflect on what worked well and what could be improved each day. Then you're going to take a look at task completion. So monitor the number of tasks completed and the quality of your work in case you need to, you know, reevaluate, readjust, maybe add an extra Pomodoro on that particular task because maybe you didn't finish it that day and you need a, maybe two Pomodoros extra the next day to complete the task. That's fun. Nothing wrong with that. These things happen. And at the end of the day, maybe you realize, actually, you know, this task doesn't, only, doesn't need two Pomodoros, it needs one. So that's how you're going to work that out and then continuously improve. Your, your insights in terms of refining your monotasking and Pomodoro approach will adjust over time and it'll, in, it'll become more efficient and more streamlined. And actually, you'll probably simplify it even further for yourself. So let's conclude this video and let's summarize everything once again. So you're going to eliminate distractions. First thing, turn off notifications, turn off all the things that are distracting you declutter your environment your office and your desk and make sure you have a clean workspace to work with and it's dedicated to work with okay don't have anything else around you then prioritize your tasks list the tasks out the night before before you go to bed for the next day rank them by importance and allocate time accordingly within 25 minute slot sessions, Pomodoro sessions for those tasks. And you're doing a guesstimate in the beginning. Eventually you ref you'll refine this process. Then leverage those Pomodoros, leverage those time sessions, use the 25 minute work intervals, and then maintain focus and avoid burnout by doing your little breaks in between. Five minute breaks, 10 minute breaks in between your Pomodoros. Once you've done four Pomodoros roughly, take it 15, maybe even 30 minutes breaks. Depends on how you do it. You will leverage that and you'll really do well by not burning out and you'll be more efficient. And then track and reflect. This is where you'll measure everything. So you'll review your process uh, that you've gone through through the day and all the progress you've made on all the tasks. You'll refine your approach you'll know what you need to do for the following day and then you'll continuously improve this process and this is how at the end of the year take a look at everything you've done everything you've marked off and you're going to realize wow this is what i've achieved this year whether it's personal things that you're working on or whether it's professional it doesn't matter you put them all into one basket don't try and you know concentrate on the tasks don't do that the monotasking is the technique, but concentrate on the Pomodoro sessions, those 25 minute slots. That's what you need to concentrate on. Once you complete that, move on to the next Pomodoro and then continue on the task or work on the next one. And when you do that, you'll start flying through things you've got to do, all the tasks, and you won't believe how many things you get to finish. It, it'll be quite a mind blowing thing for you if you've never done this before. So I hope 
that with this video it gives you a little bit of insight as to pretty much the way I've been working for the last 30 years and it works for me and I'm able to work across multiple sectors across multiple disciplines working on five different organizational type of things in my company and at the same time still have time to make YouTube videos for you and for me so <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video today and if you do like it please subscribe to my channel it helps youtube and google basically to one give my videos out to new youtube subscribers and at the same time when i bring out a new video youtube will notify you and tell you okay this is a new video that i brought out i'm hoping i make good videos and please do do me a favor give me some feedback inside youtube a lot of people have and i thank you for your feedback it's much appreciated even if it's not constructive, even if it's negative, it doesn't matter. It's part of YouTube. I don't mind. At the end of the day, if I can improve on the videos that I make, and if I can help, help at least one person, that's cool. That's great for me. That's why I do this. All right? I make money with everything else that I do. YouTube for me is a is a, a means of expressing what I've learned and giving back to what I've learned. You know, giving back to people what I've learned. And at the end of the day, if it helps my channel get to the monetize stage and I can take some of that time and not work on some of the other projects and avoid, and put them towards putting creating more good videos for you the content's just going to get richer and richer thanks for watching once again my name is Demetrius I'm signing out